Um, so Alex, first of all, we've got to start with a goal. What were you thinking when the ball came to you? In the, <laughs> it was time added on after time yeah, added on. Um, I think I heard the ref say, next time it's out, that's it. And sometimes when you watch games, it's not a given that the cross might be right or anything. I just saw a gap and uh, went for it and it was nice to see it. That's in the top corner. With, with that, having already heard the ref say, next time it goes out, um, that's it. It, it takes composure and calmness in that situation as well, doesn't it, to find find the shot there? Yeah, I guess there was a couple options. Um, a few shouts of "Don't hit it." <laughs> um, <laughs> Who did they come from? from? I don't know if that was from us or them. Uh. Um, but um, yeah, I guess it was a, it was a nice moment for me because it's the first one of the season, um, not my first minutes in the league, and um, you know these are the sort of places you want to be coming and picking up points, and it was uh, it could be an important point come the end of the season. Yeah, from where we were starting the stand, it, it looked all the way in, all the way, and in the postage stamp, we were cheering before it hit the back of the net. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. No, it was um, sometimes when you hit one, you know it's got a good chance of going in, and I was uh, yeah, it's nice to see that one nestling. Um, on the, on the whole, um, the performance. What did you make of that? I mean, a lot of it you sat watching it from the stands, but when you came on as well. Well, I felt like we had strong possession in the game. They get stuck quite deep, which we knew they would. Um, which was often really hard to break down. Um, we thought maybe they might be nervous about their situation being not picking up a win yet, so we tried to play on that a bit by starting fast, and um, they kind of sucker punched us with the goal. So um, by the time I'd come on and we were 2-1 down, uh, it's kind of all or nothing. You just yeah. uh, hope that the ball falls to at the right time, and luckily that one did. And um, In the grand scheme of things, I think you'd take a point. Because you, you're right, when you look at the first half and the start of the second half, we started both halves really well, didn't we? But um, they score, they come into the game a little bit in the first half and then actually the, the penalty comes completely against the run of play in the second half, doesn't it? I think that's the most frustrating thing. When you're on top in fixtures like we were so much today, you need to try and make that uh, possession count for something, obviously, with the goal. Yeah. Um, so for all the possession and good play we had, um, to find ourselves one down and then two one down, is, is frustrating because you can feel like the game's almost falling away from you. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, it was. Uh, I think we were disappointed in, in general. Um, we expect maybe a bit more from us as a team. Um, but I guess you know, you uh, you rely on uh, times when you can see out a point or a win in places like this. And and at the, the day, that's what we that's what we got. And looking at Southend's result going into this fixture. Um, and how they play today, they look like a side that are improving and are going to take plenty of points off people here at Newt's Hall as well. So, it, like you say, it might be a good point come the end of the season. Absolutely. This time of the year, first five, ten games, you can't take, uh, can't look at the table really. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone can beat each other in this league. Um, and um, yeah, it's a very strong side that will probably want to be bouncing back like, from, from their season last year. Um, so, there's, there's no reason why these guys won't be up there come the end of the season. But um, it's, uh, it's important every game you go into that you, you set out to win. and. I think we did that and we looked strong. It was just one of those games where it almost fell away from us. And just finally, lots of celebrations around as, as, as you curl that one into the, into the back of the net in, in stoppage time. What does that do for team spirit and momentum going forward? Yeah, it's huge. Like it's, um, I guess sometimes if it's at the end of the game, it does maybe carry a little bit more weight um, sometimes. But it's, uh, it was nice to see the boys smiling. Um, I don't think no matter what the result would have been, you could fault anyone's commitment in any game that we play. Um, this season, um, so um, it was nice to, to to be able to pick up a point, and um, yeah, the, the team spirit was nice in the changing room. But we're very aware that we need to uh, make sure that we sort of eradicate some of the little errors that cost, nearly cost us the game today, and uh, move on to Walsall in good spirits. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Yeah, and you, Alex.